so with everything assembled back together and adding of a glass bead as a boiling chip we have our reflex going and as you can see our flask has all of its contents boiling over and as they boil over they climb up and they drip down here we have our vacuum set up the trap to collect any uh, hydrogen bromide fumes and neutralize them by having them react with sodium hydroxide we will continue our reflux for about 20 minutes and then we will allow uh, we will stop our heating and then allow our reaction flask to cool down and then once it's cool we will use the same reaction flask for our first distillation so what will what do we expect to achieve in this step of refluxing what are we gaining through this step what's happening is that the hydrogen bromide that is generated by the reaction of sulfuric acid and sodium bromide serves as the nucleophile the bromide ion actually serves as the nucleophile reacting with butanol generating bromobutane this is the step where SN2 reaction is actually taking place and once this step is over the rest of the steps which include the first distillation the extraction and the second distillation are all the steps necessary in order to purify and isolate our product once we isolate it we will subject it to spectroscopy NMR spectroscopy and there we will verify the purity of our product